Hello, it's Sarah. And this time I have a video on the little pizza boxes that everyone makes. And I actually have this one here. That's from Patty. And she sent me this for my birthday um, challenge. And she put a bunch of goodies. I've added other goodies to it. Um, they're just these sweet little boxes and they're made out of the corrugated um, cards that you get at um, Michael's and it's a it's pretty expensive I want to say it was at least 12 bucks and it's a big box you get 30 sets so you get 30 cards and 30 uh, envelopes um, and then I actually I think when I was looking at the shares people were doing they told me it was by um, So Crafty 100. She did a tutorial on how to make these pizza boxes out of this six by six corrugated card. So um, that's who really, I'm gonna put that in the description box. Her video is a little bit like not as good lighting. She uses, um, more of a, uh, she doesn't use a cutting board or a scoreboard. Um, she might use a scoreboard. But anyway, Bona actually, uh, Live Love Scrap, does a tutorial too. She changes things a little bit from how um, So Crafty 100 did it. And her video is just a little bit better quality. So I ended up kind of following that one. Um, and this is what I made. Now if you saw the video before this one, of my ATCs, you will see that these little boxes were decorated very similarly. Um, this one, as a matter of fact, is based on this one. I mean, they could be twins. And I could probably... Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, I actually cut these little um, holes here so that you could open the box. And I think that I added that. I didn't see neither one of those guys had done that. But it's just with your... Um, circle punch you just kind of you know you guys know how to do that but then you just can open it up and this ATC does actually fit in there so I could use this for the ATCs but anyway it's basically the same thing um, it's the corrugated cardstock she has you cut an inch off the end and then just score it fold it and I did hot glue this together um, it's so funny I think I have every adhesive there is and you use each adhesive differently so um, but I just think these turned out super cute, so I'm just going to do a quick share. Um, it's kind of nice because it's a little bit bigger space. You guys know I'm struggling with uh, um, just an 8x10 canvas or however big they are. 85 by 11 I don't even know. I can't even fill that up. But I think the smaller space I do better with. So I just put the lace um, fabric on top of the corrugated. I also did run that um, light buttermilk paint along the edges just to give it some, um, you know, to distress the box a little bit. And I just think it looks so cool. Um, cut some hearts out. Again, just pulled my trims and different flower embellishments. And it just looks so cute. These are little, I would say they're shabby chic, but I mean, I'm that's not my style. I just copied. This style was, and I said it in my, um, uh, ATC one. Her name is Scrap Bliss, and I'm pretty sure her name is Yvonne. And she's a designer uh, for uh, a company, and she's such a great. Her she has some tag videos that are incredible. Her tags are just so luscious, and so much work in them. But look at this one. This one's pretty cool. I kept it just cream and brown. Um, oh look, I, these are buttons again. I used a lot of my button embellishments, but I put this little button on here like kind of, and I forgot to do the circle on here so I couldn't get it all the way up, but anyway, it's still there. Um, so this one, obviously I used a core cart. I used some gold embellishments, gold trims, and cream and white flowers, and I just love it. And then Dream, it's a wooden um, embellishment that I kind of, I distressed it and then rubbed my Inca gold all over everything. I just love it. I put stickles on the flowers. So that's that one. So cute. Then this one, I love the touches of pink. This one really has a lot more white and just the flowers are pink, which I love. This one, I kind of spread the pink around a little because I had this trim 
and I really just thought it was kind of a perfect match for the pink in these embellishments because it's not like a pink pink. See how the difference is? It's more of a corally pink. And so I used the buttons from the button pack, this flower button, this I'm pretty sure came in there too, and this, and then this button too. So it was all about that button pack really that kind of inspired this one. This one I used that burlap trim that I just showed. Let's see, it's right here. It's from Celebrate It. And it has the lace already attached to it. So it's super cool. And this is actually wired as well. And there's a ton there. Um, anyway, I just laid, I cut it to fit and then laid it vertically. And you can't really see it. It's under there. But it's a very easy way to just have that on there. Put a little applique, one of the love um, Brad thingy signs, a butterfly to tie it in. And it just looks so cute. I just love them. I think just to send a little gift to someone or I might even try and sell these at my craft show and see if people because you know they're they're kind of they are definitely this is still based on the theme that um scrap listed and they were valentine's now this one really pops I love the brown I had some of that um what I ended up thinking about I was laying in bed and it came to me I'm like I have other colors of that lace because I made my needle books with it so I cut some black, uh, black and brown. This one I did with the brown, and then I just used um, a burlap heart, a couple of silver embellishments, a wooden embellishment, and I've had these brown flowers forever. I just think this one turned out really cool too. And I used this like jute kind of braid as the edge. I like putting that on there, and this one I kind of cut my own thing because I forgot to do it. But love that. Love it. looks so cool. This one says friends. And I love how it's just laying along there. Looking in the camera, this one really pops because it's on the brown. And then the same thing with this black one. <clears throat> that cork. And then I rubbed gold stickles. I just squirted it on my mat and like rubbed the gold stickles all over the place with the black lace in the background. A little bit of black uh, rickrack and angel and um, inspire and I had one black rose in my stash these are both buttons and some black I think pearl trim that uh, Mary had given me hi Mary so I love them I, I think you guys should do these these are so fun I don't I think there were swaps with this before that I'd seen and with the pizza box thing and I never thought much of it I was like oh well okay and moved on from it and then all of a sudden I don't know why I just wanted I was had been working with this corrugated I wanted to work with corrugated I had the burlap and I had like the cork and everything I'm like oh the corrugated cards I'm gonna get them and they were so expensive but I finally broke down and just got them and I mean they're adorable I think I will make more of these they're just so cute and I mean you could really fit like see look the ATC's go in here I mean I could probably fit a couple in there <clears throat> but um anything you could put anything little bits and baubles for a swap that you're doing um i have like a minute left i'm just gonna grab these real quick i made these dragonflies um i'm doing a swap over at art and sassy and it's an autumn theme so these were the autumn dragonflies i made and these actually came on a strand at michael's with most of the beads i did change it up a little bit but then i had these big silver ones too so I made these. Aren't these cool? I just love these metallic silver beads are from an angel um, wings one that you get and it comes all with that. But these are just beads that I've had in my stash forever. I just think they turned out so stinking cool. So say you put, you take a couple dragonflies and a couple whatever you want to put in there. And maybe a little bit of like ruffled up paper. Some buttons and send it off I don't know I think they're super cute so I'm so glad I tried them all right you guys so that's my little pizza boxes and I do have a little my mojo is back so I have a few other things that I want to make and thanks for watching